Okay. So pretty much the way this works is you gotta know the big locations and you can kind of do everything in relation to that. For example, we're under Ollie right now in the parking garage. If you need people to roll up on you quick, you can say that, hey, I'm in the Ollie goddamn parking garage get over here. This is the escalator up to Ollie. Ollie back office. Call this self-checkout. That helps a little bit. Registers. Back of Ollie. This one, uh, the slanted wall. Just because it's a place where a lot of them kill all the time. These are the Ollie offices. You got your quest back here. You guys know the one. Ollie stairs or front stairs in Ollie. Ollie stairs, Ollie front stairs. Uh, notice that it's different. So while this does have two escalators, we just call it stairs because it's easier to distinguish and remember compared to that escalator. You pretty much want things uh, as simple as possible because you're trying to convey a lot of information. Uh, a lot of information fairly quickly to your teammates. This is, uh, furniture. Texel. Tech light escalator. Right here. Up to, obviously, tech light. Got Rasmussen. That's ADIC. There's three entrances and exits to ADIC. There's one there, one there, and the one in front. Everybody's familiar with and keep a hallway um, by the truck. Now, something important to remember is you've got Texo escalator, right? Back here, you've got uh, the pass through between Ali and Goshen. Of course, you also have these bathrooms. Storage closet over here. We don't really care. You know, these things matter when you're coming through, but you're not going to tell someone across the map, hey, come to the storage closet, and they're going to know what the fuck you're talking about. So if you look, we made it all the way around to Goshen. No problem there, right? Now, most people know about this just because you do a lot of, you know, 
runs and hatcheting. Let's see, there's something around here. There's some money. Sometimes you'll find like rollers, generic valuables. It's not all that often though. This is, yeah, let's just do the first. Well, no, let's finish up uh, going over the secret stairs here. So you're coming from uh, Ollie out this door, all right? That's Ollie, Tex, Texo, Tech Light. Come to these doors. We got that same computer room for the quests. We got a crate down here, and then you got secret stairs. Now this is just another way to get up. It takes longer than the escalator, but significantly more sneaky. Storage closet again. Two bathrooms again. Now, if you're coming up, a good spot to check is back here, another crate. People like to hang out here for the crate, lie down here or behind this wheel and try to catch people coming either way. You got fashion store here, urban clothes. Now, sometimes a scav backpack spawns here, juice, generic, medium ammo. Uh, people like to hide back here too, give the old How's your mother when you come around that corner there? One thing to always be considerate of on this map is there's broken glass everywhere. I hear broken glass to my right in here. I know you're right here. I hear it to my left. I know you're coming up on me. the tech light side pharmacy sometimes there's meds and stuff in here not really often and it's never great stuff tech light of course has a bunch of spawns for uh, tech items up on the generally the top shelves Phone X, CPU, hard drive, you know. You need a lot of this stuff for uh, good trades or quests, that sort of thing. It's also all pretty, you know, it's worth acceptable money. Okay. So we're going to do this, this half the mall up top first. This is Papillon. It's a generic clothing store. Uh, people really like to hide in here uh, and get you. Because you got good sights all the way down from in here. Um, now, a point of confusion is what do we call this hallway? Generally, I just call it the hallway by Papillon or out front of Papillon. Or I just say, hey, they're right near Papillon. You know, if I just need to circle people up and get them here, hey, they're a Papillon, let's come in from all sides, generally going to do just fine. Um, another sort of general point of confusion. I don't use these store names. I don't care for them. There's too many burger shops. There's too many pizza places. We just refer to this whole place as Papillon Pass Through. The one on that side by Stardux is the Stardux Pass Through. 
So this one's got three restaurants in front. So does the one on the other side. Each one has a little storage unit, and then you've got the hallway. This door spawns closed. That one spawns open. People like to chill out in here and heal. But this takes you all the way through to the center without really exposing you as much to a uh, fire from like idea escalator. It's also a good way to get up on a uh, big window here. You can kind of pop out of here. You got a little cover coming out. Get some eyes. Creep around. You probably get the idea there. Now out here, we call this white room. Big, bright, well-lit room with construction garbage. Now this is bookstore. Some people call it arcade. Doesn't matter. It's the one with the, the bookshelves, pool tables, So we got bathrooms back here. People really like dumping stuff. Like in these, just drop it by the toilet. So if someone, you know, you're fighting a team, kill a couple, got a reposition, and they're in this area, definitely check in there. Another one that's very popular is the music room back here. Because there's nothing in here. No one ever comes in here. There's, I don't think there's anything that spawns at all. Uh, people like to hide in here and try to shoot you out the windows too. That never goes well um, for them. So that's fashion store again. That's urban. So we've just gone kind of around the block here. Now this is clothing. And you're coming up here we got the side entrance here, the front, and the back, changing rooms. When you're coming through, you gotta remember, if someone's up here at Cuba Sniper, they will hear this glass. That's what I always tell people to do. So, if you're chilling out here, being like a shitty Mosin guy, and you're like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get them. They're unlocking. That's fine. I don't care. But do me a favor and do it smart. So, most people like to sit mm, right up here. They're like, this is a good idea. This is gonna work out well. Obviously not. You're super visible, right? You really want that? You probably don't. It sucks. You're getting shot. We're trying to kill you. That's not fun. I mean, they're probably doing an awful job of it. But they're still trying. Nobody wants that. So, generally what I recommend is, if it's nighttime, you're going to be a lot less visible. You can do something like this. Especially if you have a short gun. Now, you're very limited, but you can hold on that Kiba. Another real good one, and I don't know how people don't notice this, but I think just being night, dark, they're not paying attention, you're not moving to make a noise. Kind of slow crouch walk right by these. People have trouble seeing through them at night. Scabs don't, but people do. You're good there. The best place, in my opinion, is I sit right here. I can see, I can hear them under me. The generator, even with contacts, doesn't bother me here, and max perception, so I can hear real far. 
generator doesn't bother me here. I can see the door. All I gotta do is take two steps up, and I can shoot any part of their body I want. And I'm fully covered from here. This is where people are gonna come in. It's that little uh, broken glass uh, clothing store entrance there. Plus, you hear them walking on glass, they don't come in. You hear them keep walking, no problem. They might come around the corner looking right at you, in which case you might get shot up. But you're already going to know they're there. You should be able to win that fight. Generally, they're looking towards bookstore, clothing, or um, white room over there, Papillon Pass area. They've got an intersection here, uh, pretty highly traveled. Easy to get them. So this is Pizza Daddy James. It's great. Um, another thing. So I pointed out Rasmussen before. Right here is the other side. Comes out right behind uh, the hole in the ground in Kiba Hallway. Something to keep eyes on, especially if you hear something from up here. Uh, especially jumping and laying down, they're on top of this crate right here. So you can kind of sneaky peeky. Now, they definitely, if they hear you, they're going to keep eyes because there's you're either coming from this side or this side. Not a lot of options here if you're up here. If you got shit ammo, this is really it, or jumping up on one of these because it's not going to do a lot of damage to the glass. If you got okay ammo. Just shoot them a bunch of the glass. Don't really expose yourself, just... Ping, 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 ping. Easy. So we got Pizza Daddy James. You got your bathrooms back here. People like dumping stuff in there. You got the uh, kitchen and prep area, storage room. Now, this place is one I recommend, so I don't know if Kill is here. If he is, maybe I'll get to show you how to do this. It's not very impressive with this gun, because you can just kill him no matter what. But if we're doing it with like a PB pistol, something like that, um, scav weapon, just really anything where it's just not going to work out great. You know, you're not going to 10-tap him to the head or chest or something. What you can always do is kind of find him. Like, oh, it's Killa. Shoot him once. He's coming. What you should do at this point when you see him running, cook those sweet cheeks right back into pizza. Shut this door. Now, pretty much as long as you're here or back, you're good. Um, I do prefer kind of here or uh, laying down here. Now, he's going to open that door, generally the left one, from my perspective, his right. He's going to come around the corner. And you shoot him a bunch in the legs. He's got massive aim punch, just like players. Um, you shoot him in the legs enough, he's not even really going to get a hit on you. Easy kill. Don't damage his armor or his helmet. There you go. Now, this is Sushi. You can see the little uh, happy Sushi guy. I don't know why he's so happy. They're here to eat him. But... You know, I don't make the rules. Back here, we got the double entrance. It's just a kitchen prep area back here. Nothing exciting. People do like to hide in here, though, behind here or in there. So this is uh, Escalator Sniper. So that guy just went in the tea room. 
with all these uh, pretty designs up top. That is a favorite scav hiding spot. So we're going to go through underway here. And we're just going to get another angle on him. He's looking for us over where we were. So we're not going to be there. Oh, that second shot did get him. But there you go. Tea room. Also has this back uh, sort of kitchen area. You can jump over that. Sometimes people like to hide in this prep area because it's very hard to get nades into there from over here. It's pretty, pretty good for that. You shut the door here. Generally, it's people with kind of low gear or you've outnumbered them. And it's sort of a last ditch sort of thing. Look through the windows. Nades are kind of hard to get in there. If you're on the left side there, Hard to nade you. Real hard to get it where it's going in that door. Let's see where that blast goes. Nothing on the floor. So right around here. Generally, if you're here, it kind of bounces in to this area. Yeah, it looks like it blew up right there. Um, you'd be absolutely fine anywhere in the room. That didn't always happen, but it generally, generally it's in this area here. Over here, you're okay. Over here, eh, you know. People also like to lay down over here. Um, because generally the door will block the explosion. A little riskier though. We got bathrooms back here. So we got sushi underway, tea room. All right. Happy inside pass through. Big window. Now this is a pretty nebulous name because it's a huge area. Um, we got Skybridge here. Directly across from Escalator Sniper. This isn't one of my favorite ones, but it does give you a, a good angle on dark room tents down there. Um, you can kind of peek into uh, Mantis or Brutal or Viking or the National. So it's very central. If you have backup and you're a team, <clears throat> it's not a bad place to be. You got guys with big window and escalator, or at least on the sides here. Not a bad place to be. So this is sandbags at big window. This is a terrible spot. Um, if you're going to sit at big window, I generally do not recommend here. A lot of people like it. Um, I don't sit up here. Ever. I'll sit back here uh, in general and, and move up as I need to. Sometimes you get lucky and there's an untar here, like on your scav run. You need a helmet. You got the little coffee stand there. Now this is what I really think of when I think big window. Um, and this is a this is a rough place. Especially at night. You can't see down here. You can't be attacked from the back or the sides. And you can look kind of all the way down. Uh, either the Jacob and Jacob side. Or the opposite side. Without a lot of... Uh, without a lot of issues. You don't have great angles. But if you really wait for it, you'll be fine. Now over here, you've got the big window... I'm sure you've seen people uh, out here going, oh my god, you're two miles away and now you're dead. This is where they're doing it from. Um, and that's wonderful. I mean, look at this. You're out here farming scouts checkpoint. Just kidding. Dead. 
Now I have bananas, banana strength, so I can just hop up there most of the time, and for most of the wipe for me. You got to do something like that. Hop on that chair. Now, interestingly enough, you can see all the way out to the entrance of Idea and Ollie from here. This is a stupid, powerful position. You're also stupid exposed. Um, anyone up here by the, the sign tower, uh, anyone at checkpoint, anyone in the parking lots, they can see you too. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> on the other side here, so we got Pappy on there. Construction. This is Stardux. It's labeled as such. So we just call this Stardux Pass Through. You really need it. Sometimes there's liquids in these cases. This is the same as the other side. Three restaurants, three storage areas, and a hallway. Just pops out back here. So this is Coffee J. To be honest, we just call this one Hacker Hidey Hole. Because for some reason, you know, back before Battle Eye, uh, like three or four occasions, we had guys shooting at people through the walls in here. Like they'd come in here and hide, thinking, oh, there's one entrance, I'm good. It's real hard to bounce nades in this way. Um, just because of the, the way the doors are, the objects, like, you're exposed. If you can get a nade all the way back there, they can shoot you. There's no way you can reliably be like, oh, I'll trick shot it off the door. That's not making it through that second, uh, second door frame there, ever. So they really like that. Um, they kind of pop out, you know, Five people are dead, and then they, they go back in here and chill, see if any teammate, you know, if they're getting pushed. Or maybe they just chill in there until people move around. I don't know. But we've had like half our team wiped with one-shot headshots, and the guy hides in here. And uh, General, he'll shoot at you through the door if you shut it. He'll shoot at you through the walls, like pre-fire you, even before you'll be standing here. Pre-fire. Coming right here where your head is. You know, like, well, I'm not going to peek that. And you pretty much just wait them out with uh, the ammo. They generally don't bring enough, uh, and they run out. This is Jacob and Jacob, again, labeled as such. Only real thing of interest here is behind this counter. People like to hide there, especially when they're new. Um, these clothing racks, some of them are very good from one angle, and I'll show you what I mean. You're coming from a uh, hex here. It can be real hard to see through there, but if they hear you, you can shoot through those. No problem. So people like to kind of chill behind those and just pre-fire this corner when they hear you walking up. I definitely, this is one of the ones I recommend slow crouch walking around, or even better, do it a little noisy, and they, they'll generally fire it when they hear you kind of enter this area. They're not going to shoot you, you know, through this, so it gives you a little heads up and toss an 8 over. Now right down from Jacob and Jacob is this guy, we just call this glass room. There's glass everywhere in it. Um, people like to chill up here at Jacob and Jacob. Oh, 
I heard somebody. That's not super. Um, I like to chill here. <clears throat> get you at Kiba. Get you coming uh, down Kiba Hallway like that poor shit. I think it's a terrible spot in general. Um, like, I don't ever chill here unless it's like a dumb scav run. I don't care. Uh, or my ammo is terrible. I much prefer to sit outside glass room. Um, the glass mitigates a lot of cheap bullets. If you stand right in front of the boxes, you're generally safe from behind. From hex. Uh, at least they have to move up close to get an angle on you. And you can hear that. And you can see hole in the ground from here. You have a scope, a thermal, any sort of optic, um, or it's daytime, you can kind of see the light coming through. You can see someone peeking their head through and at least know what's going on. Uh, you can also kind of, you know, if you're running, this is M62. Um, I, can, I, I can put shots to this. Second guy. Bullets work just fine through that glass. As long as they're, uh, you know. Not PS, that sort of thing. Well, to be honest, they will still go through, but the only thing that's going to matter is a uh, kind of a head or face shot, depending if they have a helmet or a face shield. Um, this is the uh, this croissant, croissant shop, you know, only place with the croissant logo. You can go around the counter there. Jump over there. It's just got a kitchen prep area. In between uh, croissant here and burger here, people like to chill. And this, there's a lot of glass. You'll hear them unless they're like straight camping. This is burger. Prep. Kitchen. Storage. Same as the pizza place. I don't mind kind of holding this. I like it. Uh, bathroom back here. I like these uh, a sort of dining area. It opens up a lot of possibilities. Um, especially for people pushing up on you uh, from this side. You can hold like a good third of... A third or more... Of the upstairs of this map. Right from, from here, uh, and croissant. Generally, you don't even really have to leave. This place is good angles, uh, reasonably good cover. You can use it, uh, pretty well. Kind of hop up, give him one of, one of these, get a surprise shot on somebody. Not going to work twice. They have teammates, but... What I really like it for lately is just observing. A lot of people, uh, you can't see through the glass great, you know. A lot of people, this isn't the first place they look. When they come through here, around that corner, they're coming down from construction. It gives you a, a big advantage in getting the first, you know, one to three shots off on them. Now this is Hex. This is uh, directly opposite. All the way down there is Kiba Sniper. Against that back wall. That way. We got Jacob and Jacob. Burger. Glass room. Down here we have Costin. Emercom. Mantis. Uh, Voyage. German. Now this one doesn't come up a lot, but it's just a a sort of shitty medical 
room, just generic loot. It's called TTS. Um, now this here is furniture. Now on the second floor, this is furniture. There's also a first floor furniture. Same with bookstore. We generally just go with context. If you're on the second floor, you probably mean the second floor of furniture. If you're on the first floor, you probably mean first floor of furniture. This is a good spot for scavs to hit up. You can get a gun in here fairly regularly. Sometimes ammo on the, on the couch and the shelves. Uh, and sometimes you get lucky and it's even ammo or whatever, whatever garbage gun you picked up. So back here, construction, right there, Stardux pass through, so the places of, of note, father and sons, we got the uh, idea side, secret stairs, idea escalator, Just sort of junk construction store. You got the cell phone store. That's construction right there. You got the gym. That's another uh, kind of office store. You don't have to get. Not a lot of fights happen kind of in here. People prefer construction for the sight lines and cover. Um, generally, the only time people are in here are camping or you're fighting them in construction or right up here by the escalator and father and sons and they kind of hide in there. So idea, right there. Trend right here. So trend escalator. You now over by idea. Escalator up. You've also got the idea pass through here. And of course the, uh, the secret stairs back there. We're going to check that out. Of course it's the same as the other side. Storage unit, two bathrooms, same upstairs. Over here, you got another uh, computer room for quests. And you got secret stairs. One thing to note is pay attention to what you're walking on. Um, just like on labs, you're walking on cardboard or binders or books, it makes a hard wood floor noise, which is ridiculous, but what are you gonna do? Storage, two bathrooms. Now this one's a little different uh, than the other side up here. I've seen people try to hide like right here you know, they don't, they think they're going to hear you from the right and they can kind of catch you looking over there. Or if you push up to the open part over here, they got, you know, sight lines on you. It's not a bad spot. Just be aware of it. We got father and sons right here. And this kind of funnels you in while leaving you exposed. So coming up this side is a little more dangerous than the other. But... If you're aware of what's going on, it can be very useful. Especially if someone's up here, camping in cell phone, on the uh, idea side escalator here. Keep them busy. Send one or two up the secret stairs. They never know what hits them. Also, need a weapon crate. Some, uh accessories in there. I'm not sure the exact number, but I think I've heard 
58. There's 58 crates. Uh, 56, I think, are not behind locks on interchange. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. Let's come down here and we're going to get eyes into idea. idea very much uh, similar you got the escalator idea escalator that goes to the parking garage playground right here is the slanted wall and that just means this whole area registers It's got this floor waxer gets me all the time. I see it generally from over here, and I'm like, oh my god, guy, kill it. So you got registers. If you have the key, there's money in the registers. It's not really worth it. Um, the keys are fairly expensive, <clears throat> and you're not going to get very much out of each run. It's it's a grind, and not even particularly worthwhile. Oh. So this is the uh, computer room over here. Computer room. You probably know it. You've had to do it for quests. Bunch of computers in here. Tech items spawn in these two locations. You got a computer. 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 Plays a meat grinder. You find a lot of people, you know, low level trying to sneak through here. You got phones and stuff in between the boxes. Generally, it's small, um, but valuable stuff. It's a great place to hit if you spawn right here. Um, just like I said, it's a meat grinder. Hit it and out. Um, catch people camping these uh, entrances and exits all the time. Easy kills. And almost guaranteed, any time in the wipe, someone's going to come through there and you can kill them. Up here, you know, we call restaurant. Great right here, under the stairs. Now you come up the top stairs here to restaurant. This is why I'm always telling people, if you're leaving, uh, and when you're entering, if you're late, be real careful up here. People like to sit right up here, and uh, I'll show you when we go down there. But I can see certainly well enough to shoot people coming through literally the only entrance. There's just one portal here. You can just clap people coming through, no problem. You can get them coming up or trying to run out. Uh, this is another favorite spot for uh, scav players with Mosins or Hunters. I've seen one Hunter scav get the whole rest of my team. You know, three or four of a five-man. Um, pretty much with like one mag or two mags a Hunter. And it's not even hard. So... That's pretty much the only way you're coming in or out of here. 
quietly. You can jump up over here. Uh, I recommend if you're gonna come out, go under, down escalator, uh, or through, down Goshen. Rude. And come out here. Uh, you can still cross over. It'll just be a lot safer for you in the long run. Now, scavs are little shits. Thought that was a better shot than it was. Thought I had him. Probably gonna be one. A lot of them back here today. So the parking garage down here, it's sectioned off into two sections. Um, the other other side didn't really have any scavs, not a lot of action. Uh, we'll probably do a second video and get into the less pertinent areas. Down here, a lot of scavs seem to spawn. You can hear one right now. He might be under the escalator. That is a favorite shitbird spot. Um, they like to sit under there, or even better, lay down under here. You know, if I'm a Mosin man, hunter man, and I hear, you know, uh-oh, guys are coming. Real slow to get in and out of, real noisy. But ridiculously effective. When people round the corner, they're generally looking here, here. Takes time to get down. Gives you plenty of time to line up that, that one important shot. Okay, let's get back up and we'll do the first floor. We're just going to do a pretty quick tour of the first floor. Most of these spots I've already pointed out to you. So we got a trend right outside idea. We got TTS. Emercom right here. Costin. This is a uh, hex upstairs, obviously. Now, this is bookstore. This is the one, if you're on first floor, that you're talking about. You need this for a quest. You can kind of get around the back here. Costin again. We got Bizarro. These are just bathrooms. I don't recommend you go through here very often. This place, awful. Kind of a nice kill box, uh, you know, generally for people that want to, like, nade or uh, just kind of get you out that way. We got tents here. 
That's what we call the entrance to Goshen. We got truck side. We got tent side. We got dark room. A lot of people call this uh, pretty lights. That is the name of the store, which is fine. Now there's a crate pack here. Two valuable loot spawns. So I'm just going to kind of give you uh, an idea of our orientation. We got German here. Mantis. Voyage. Escalator Sniper. Skybridge. Jacob and Jacob. Uh, of course, Kiba. Which you need the two keys to get into. We're in Kiba Hallway. We got Kiba Sniper, Hole in Ground, Rasmussen, Adek. Sometimes Killa's chilling in here. A lot of time you'll find a scav in there. Avocado, need that for a quest. <clears throat> Generic. The, uh, the BTR in front. Lootable crate. Loose loot. Crate. Functional crate. That one is just display. Ammo, usually 545 five on the shelves here. Sometimes over here as well. Gun cabinet. Sometimes liquids and ammo here. This is uh, Brutal, right here. Named as such. Good place to kind of hold eyes on Kiba Door. Of course, we got the National and Viking, as I showed you from above earlier. We're right under Skybridge here. National is interesting because there's only the two entrances on the same side, so you really can't hold it. Uh, you see someone coming in from all the way down there, you can hold it from there. Um, they, they're either going to wait you out or you're going to wait them out. This place is interesting because it has a lot of filing cabinets. Good loot generally in there. Got the cell phone store. Spiel. Dino clothes. Um, interesting thing about Spiel. You know, a lot of hidey holes back here kind of keep you safe from grenades. But, come over here in the corner. You can look out over here. Got eyes on people trying to enter or exit. That's always nice. So down here we got the cell phones store, telespot. Top brand. Need that for a quest. We got sports. That right there is a deck. Yashka, I've only ever seen people hide in here. They're rarely ever camping. They're mostly hiding from you. Because look at it. It's awful. Um, sports for life. People hang out in here. You mostly drive them into here. 
Um, you know, they're trying to hold this escalator. Get some shots on them. They fall back in here and lay down. Trying to get a, a shot on you coming around the corner here. Or they're trying, they're waiting people out coming for a Texo for the tech loot in here. Texo, Rasmussen, Tech Light. You find Tetras, G phones, computer parts, graphics cards. It's good stuff. So, um, we're about out of time for this one. This raid's about to end. But, hopefully this has, uh, helped a little bit with some of the callouts. Uh, maybe for people that are less comfortable with the admittedly exceedingly complex maps. Last thing I'm going to show you guys is, uh, ramps. This is ramps. That's southeast extract there. You can obviously enter Ollie here. You can enter Ollie over there. And you can enter the back of Goshan right through there. Um, it's the same on the other side, behind idea. This one has a lot more scavs, though. And more frequent fights, in my experience. Because uh, there's loot on this one. Not great loot, but loot. Um, we also have all these crates here. You got a crate up there, a crate there. Crate if you go down here and go left. how you get the uh, the crates up here. Crate there, jump across. Get the other crate right there. This is generally not worth checking. Uh, if you're a scout though, there's generally shit ammo in here. You know, if you just need to find more ammo for whatever it is you're running. Yes, that's not bad. Grenades in here, and this guy. Always nice to have those. And uh, here, you got the back of Goshen. You got elbow. You can also go around outside for both. And you can, of course, go down the uh, elevator shaft okay. here. Yep. Scavs, like to hide here, we call that wood pallet, wood corner. Uh, another crate here. Another crate out here. And we're just about out of time, so, uh... Thanks, guys. Uh, let me know what we gotta do better for these. This is our, our first try at it, so... It is what it is, but it's a good, quick walkthrough. Kind of through just our call-out system. Hopefully it was helpful.